So we want to add some more components to our level because at the moment our level's only got our floor on and that's not very exciting for our player. So one thing we can add is we can add some walls. So in order to add a wall, we just need any sprite. So I'm just going to use the platform as an example and we can put that in, make it look a bit more like a wall. That'll do. And as long as it's got the behavior of solids, then the player will not be able to pass through it. So if I run this game and I get to this wall, you can see that my player can't pass through it whatsoever. So the solid behavior works for both floors and walls, but back if we want the player to be able to approach a platform in a slightly different way. So this would be better if I show you. So we're going to add a brand new object. We're going to create a brand new sprite. We're going to create something called a jump through platform. And these are very common in platform games. So we're going to insert, click to position it. I'm just going to resize it to be slightly thinner than our normal platforms. I'm just going to fill it in brown like so. So we've now got this new platform. Now, if I was to give this a solid behavior, I would have to physically jump on top of this platform. I couldn't approach it from underneath or the sides. I'd have to jump on top. What we're going to do instead is we're going to add a different behavior. So instead of solid, I'm going to add this one called jump through. So we're going to add this and we're going to run our game. Now, what's different about jump through, as you can see, as I approach it underneath, my character is going through it at the moment. What's different about this compared to an object that's got no behaviors? is I can land on this platform. So jump through platforms are very, very interesting and it's a lot more forgiving for the player because the player can approach them from underneath and they can go through them, but unless they go completely through them, they won't land on them. So if you've got a bit of a more cluttered platform level or you've got the option to reach the higher platforms or different routes, these are very, very useful to go for and then they can be used to reach extra heights as well. So very, very useful platform there. Again, if we want walls, we can add the solid behavior. If we want walls, we can add the solid behavior. But if we want it so the player can jump through, we add the jump through behavior.